Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. So, this has been floating around on my forums. People have been asking, okay, we get it. You know, this is a gaming 4K HDR monitor, but what about if you want to watch maybe Apple TV 4K? Uh, what about that? Well, it will work, obviously. And, uh, but you got to keep one thing in mind. You know, this is what I try to explain to people. Yes, you can watch Apple TV 4K on this and uh, it'll work fine. You know, you'll still get that HDR and you're still going to get that 10-bit panel that this uh, monitor is. But don't expect the color accuracy to be as great as, let's say... Uh, your TV, all right, because this is a TN panel, okay, there's a big difference between the TN panel and then the VA panel, and especially when you try to compare the monitor to a television, it's, it's like night and day, so this is why I never compare monitor to a television, but anyway, let's check this uh, Apple TV 4K with some settings over here. Now, first thing you should do when you connect your Apple TV to your uh, monitor, in this case, BenQ EL2870U model, 28 inch. The first thing you should do is go to your settings, go to your video and audio, click on it. Uh, make sure, you see, right now it's set to 4K HDR. And you want to avoid this. You see, this is the, the mistake. See, right now, the HDR is being forced into this television. I mean, into this monitor. I'm sorry. And you don't want to force that uh, collection of metadata, static metadata of HDR to be forced into this uh, user interface. So what you want to do is this. You want to go to the 4K SDR. Select SDR, 4K SDR. Click on it. Wait a little while and click OK. This is a 60 hertz monitor, so keep it 4K SDR and then come back and then leave the HDMI output. Listen, the HDMI output speed and all that stuff, let the uh, HDMI uh, decide what's the best possible, you know, uh, output. Same thing with Chroma, leave the Chroma alone, let the HDMI decide what's the best Chroma output. Now, the match content is the, the next thing you want to go with. Make sure you select dynamic range on and match frame rate. Now, when you select these uh, options, both of them on, what's going to happen is then you're not going to force HDR where it's not needed. Okay, You're only going to decode HDR where it's being decoded, where it's needed. Okay, If the format is already decoded in HDR, then you're going to get that best possible HDR and the match frame rate of that content. So keep this on and keep this on. And now you're going to have much better, not only going to get a better performance on your uh, user interface, there's not going to be any lag, but at the same time, your HDR content will look much better so we're going to test the transformers the last night i'm going to pause the video i'm going to pause one of the scenes and just see how well it looks now it is re really important that you guys understand i don't personally recommend that you watch your movies on a 4k hdr monitor but you know if you're stuck somewhere in the office and you don't have a tv and all you have is this then yeah, this will get the job done. You're still gonna enjoy this movie. You know, it's the HDR will be there. The 4K 8 million point three pixels uh, will be there, but you have to remember that don't expect the peak brightness to be as great as what you're gonna be getting on a TV. Don't expect the color accuracy to be at the 93%, okay? It's not gonna be like that. It's going to be good. You're still going to enjoy it, but it's not going to be super bright. It's not going to be super uh, accurate with colors, all right? 
but you can still enjoy it. Like on this scene right here, you still get to uh, enjoy this movie. But one thing you will appreciate on a smaller monitor, like a 28 inch, is that the 8.3 million pixels will be more condensed and therefore you're gonna have much sharper image. You know, I wish I could play this scene for you, but I can't because if I do, I will get flagged by the Paramount Pictures. You know, maybe I can play just a few seconds just to show you, maybe a few seconds. So, uh, you know, it's still going to look good, but don't expect it to be super bright. Because this is a monitor, and it, it is a TN panel, and these monitors were not made uh, to really watch movies on it. Yes, you can watch movies on it, but they were specifically made for gaming and video editing. Uh, that was the main purpose, you know, you want a game on this monitor for the performance, one millisecond GTG. Now, like I said, if you're stuck somewhere in the office and you don't have a TV and all you have, you know, is this, look, yeah, I watched movies on my phone for crying out loud. Sure, I'll appreciate something like this on 28 inch to watch it somewhere in the office or whatever. So I'm trying, simply trying to say that the monitors are simply made for gaming and to do some video editing. You know, it's good for video editing. If you need to uh, edit your videos and you need an extra monitor or something, that's what you want to use it for. But if you want to watch this movie, if you want to experience this movie, you know, you got to either go with a big TV, really good TV or uh BenQ 4K HDR projector, HD 2550, you know, something where you're going to get that 93% of color accuracy and you're going to get that nice color gamut and that decent peak brightness, especially on a big screen. I still recommend projector because, you know, watching this movie on 155 inch is the way you should experience it, okay? That's just the way I see it. Movies were meant to be experienced on the big screen. Here's Saving Private Ryan. Um, again, uh, especially if you're watching this in a very lit up room like I am, but if you turn down the lights, you'll get a little bit better experience. However, this is a monitor, you know, you're still going to get that HDR color, you know, you're still going to get a little bit of that HDR, uh, effect, you know, but the one thing you will most appreciate is the fact that 8.3 million pixels on a 28 inch monitor, uh, it will look much sharper, meaning that you're going to see much, much sharper detail because now you have 8.3 million pixels being uh, cramped into this small canvas, okay, if you will. Maybe I can play it just a little bit, a little bit of a scene here for you guys, just so you guys can see it, uh, as you can see. Uh, it looks nicely detailed. You know, there's still HDR there, but again, you know, don't expect it to be super, super, super great, okay? And uh, the look, what I'm trying to say here is this. I wouldn't use this as my primary, uh, you know, device monitor to, to uh, view movies. This is something that you would use as something as a secondary, something where, like I said, uh, you, you're in the office or you're somewhere and you need to catch up on your uh, TV show and you don't have a big TV in that uh, office or whatever or whatever the case might might be. Okay, maybe you're too far away from a living room and, you know, maybe family kids are watching a movie somewhere out there in the living room and uh, you are pretty much it's stuck in the office and you need to like catch up on your TV show or maybe on the news or whatever. Uh, yes, you can use this as a alternative. You know, like I said, I watched movies on the phone, so it wouldn't bother me watching something like this on a monitor, a 28 inch monitor. I mean, you can still watch a movie on this. It's just that, you know, don't expect it to be like a TV. Okay. You know, the TV, you know, the monitor cannot replace a TV, what I'm trying to say. 
So same thing goes here for the, uh, even the Terminator. You know, I mean, you're still going to get that nice, you know, HDR and that 8.3 million pixels will look sharp. But remember, it's not going to be as bright. This is only 300 nits, so you're not going to get that peak brightness. But then again, remember, you're watching this from very close uh, proximity. You're watching this uh, from like not even uh, one feet away, maybe half a feet away. Uh, you're like very close to this monitor. Like this monitor will be in your face. Like you're like very close to it. So therefore, uh, that 300 uh, nits, I guess it's more... It gets the job done, what I'm trying to say. You know, it's it's going to get the job done. It's still going to be bright enough for this distance between you and the monitor. But, again, don't expect it to be like a TV quality. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, my whole point here is this is, first and foremost, a performance gaming monitor. Okay, it has a free sync. It has a one millisecond GTG. So, you want to use Xbox One X with this. So you can enjoy your Call of Duty, your Fortnite, your Battlefield 5, or whatever game that's coming out there that's very dependable on the uh, performance and accuracy. So you want to use this to have that 4K HDR and performance. All right. In terms of picture quality, you can expect this monitor to be super great in picture quality because of that TN panel. And only 73% of color accuracy, okay? You're not getting the full white color gamut. You know, if this monitor was 93% or 100% full white color gamut, uh, let's say it was 93% uh, color accuracy or 100% color accuracy, and you were getting the full white color gamut with, let's say, 800 nits or 900 nits, then, yeah, this monitor would be... Uh, ideal for hdr picture quality but it's not plus it's a tn panel if it was an ips panel you might be able to get a little bit better colors but the tn panel will make color shift you know uh va panel will do it, uh, honestly the same thing as well so having said that you know from whom is this monitor then you know like i said this monitor is really is a an alternative you want to get this as an alternative for you to play your video games and get better performance and still get that 4K and a decent 73% color accuracy HDR. But then again, remember, it's only 300 nits, so it's not going to pop out of the screen like it will on your TV. All right. Remember, on TV, you, can't, you, you can never, ever get that one millisecond GTG response time, and you're never going to get it. Okay, so it's really important that you remember that. But what you are getting on a TV is that picture quality. Now, in terms of gaming on the Apple TV 4K, sure, you can game on this, and it'll get the job done gaming on this. You know, if you want to game, you can easily do that. Uh, you know, I can start one game here really quick, Sky Force, and uh, it's going to look nice, you know. But remember, um, this is a monitor first and foremost. Like I said, if you're stuck somewhere, let's say in a hotel or in any office and you have this, this will be a nice companion, you know, something. You can fit this into your 511 bag, you know, one of those big military bags. You can put it in, to take it with you, take it out, put it in, set it up, you know, put it on a desk somewhere or on a coffee table, whatever, and you can enjoy watching uh, this, you know. You know, there's still some benefit of having a monitor. You know, you can't carry a big 55-inch, 65-inch TV with you everywhere. So, you're still getting, here's the deal, you're still getting 8.3 million pixels. And you're still getting 10-bit panel. It's not it's not sRGB, it's a 10-bit panel. And you're still getting uh, HDR. Okay, so let's remember that. You're getting 8.3 million pixels. You are getting HDR and you are getting 10 bit panel. All right, so here I am with Skies for Sky Force reloaded. We're gonna start play it a little bit so you can see how it looks. So here we go. As you can see.
there's barely any input lag and, and uh, having that one millisecond GTG perf uh, performance response time on a monitor definitely helps you know So as you can see, this is something you can take with you and play some games, watch some movies, uh, take the Apple TV and the monitor with you and you can enjoy. But remember, as I said earlier, monitors are for the gaming or video editing. They're not really meant for uh, watching movies, okay? But you can watch movies if you want to. You know, you do have that option. You know what I mean? So in a conclusion, uh, as you have seen in this, what, 20-minute video, that, yes, you can connect the uh, Apple TV 4K to your monitor. You can still enjoy it a little bit. You can still watch movies uh, and your favorite TV shows, okay, and you can play video games on it. So you can st still do all of these things. But remember, it shouldn't be your main source of like watching movies. Okay, this is uh, intended for something as a secondary option. Okay, but I primarily use it for gaming. Okay, I, I it's I, that's why I got it for gaming and video editing. Twenty eight inches. It's a nice little canvas to have for video editing, okay? Now, ideal thing would be 32 inch uh, for the video editing, but you can still use this for video editing if you want. So that's that's how I look at this monitor. Now, you're gonna say, well, $500, is it worth it $500? Well, if you don't have a monitor and you have a 4K TV, this is a nice alternative option to have, okay? But I wouldn't purchase this over a TCL R617. If you purchase this over R617, well, that's kind of stupid, you know, because R617, it, it's a premium quality TV, even though it's priced at the budget TV, but it has a premium quality, has a outstanding peak brightness, uh, outstanding uh, uh, color accuracy, white color gamut, NBP photon technology. This is a monitor. Okay, first and foremost, you got to remember, you should never buy a monitor first over a TV. This is something you buy as a secondary, you know, something for your uh, workspace, gaming, uh, PC, video editing, stuff like that. Okay, you don't purchase a monitor over a TV. You don't do that. As you can see... Gaming, it's pretty good on it. You can definitely use Apple TV 4K on this gaming monitor. You're going to get a really nice uh, performance on it. And that's what this is. It's a gaming, gaming monitor. And you should really use it only for the gaming. That's what it's intended for, you know. All right, I don't know if there's anything else that I need to show you. I showed you uh, the settings you need to put into this. I showed you some uh, movie clips. I showed you the response time, and uh, I showed you a couple of games. So, Apple TV 4K. Uh, yes, you can plug it in. You can watch it. But... Remember, it's not a TV, it's a monitor. So don't expect super high-end, you know, picture quality. I would really recommend it for the gaming. If you want to do some gaming uh, on this uh, monitor via Apple TV 4K, then that's pretty 
cool. As you've seen, it works well. Uh, you know, one millisecond GTG response time is just something that uh, uh, you will appreciate gaming on this monitor, whether you use the Apple TV 4K to game or whether you use the uh, PlayStation, Xbox, it's definitely going to help you uh, get that nice performance. You're never going to get this type of a performance on a big TV with a 22, 23 millisecond uh, GTG response time. You're not going to get that, but you will get that on this monitor. And this is why you're buying a monitor for the gaming performance experience. Plus 8.3 million second, uh, 8.3 million pixels. I'm sorry. Remember, you're getting three things. 8.3 million pixels will look really nice and sharp and detailed. Two, you're getting that one millisecond GTG response time, and three, you are getting that uh, 73 percent color accuracy HDR. Uh, and number four, it is a 10-bit panel. It's not sRGB, so that's a bonus. And number five, you are getting a decent 300 nits peak brightness, which honestly, it's it's more than enough for you watching it from a dis distance. All right, you'll be your head will be right into this monitor. Okay, you'll be watching this very close. Okay. But don't expect the picture quality to be super, super, super great because it is a TN panel and the colors do shift when you're watching it from the left or from the right. But remember, you're not going to be watching this from the left or from the right. You're going to be front and center watching this. So there you go. Hopefully this, uh, this video helps you out. Uh, for those of you who are interested maybe in plugging the uh, Apple TV 4K into this monitor, and yes, I am using and it is connected via my ultra high speed HDMI 2.1 Belkin cable. Okay, that's what's called ultra high speed HDMI cable from Belkin. So other than that, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can say. This video was recorded in 2560 by 1440. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one though. Take care.